All right, Lights, Camera, Barstool, draft time. Jeff D. Lowe, Ken Jack, Gooch. That was your cue to give a little wave, just to maybe like say a word. What's uh, up? Our good friend, co-worker. You see him yeah. on everything we're involved in. Uh, Nick Torrini joining us from Chicago. Now a Chicago native. What's up, Not guy? a native, a resident. Uh, resident. Yeah, whatever works. Yeah, we got three different time zones on the pod right now. Great. All of them, basically. Duh, bears. Amazing. No offense to <laughs> Mountain time zone, very cool, but but yeah, not not, not a real time zone. Not I'm um, sorry, not real. We are going to be drafting uh football teams out of movie characters. Two offense, two defense, mm-hmm. and a coach. Big rule. No superheroes. Uh can't be no powers, nothing like that. Can't be Superman. Yeah, it's fucking you, Nick, you fucking nerd. No way. You, you Marvel guess. soy boy. I've never seen a fucking superhero movie. <laughs> I'm not um, gonna lie. I was looking down some Pokemon list today, and <laughs> nope. S- 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 Ketchum no would be a good quarterback. Uh, it'd be a horrible pick. No powers involved. No Actually, powers. S- no Ketchum, S- Ketchum would be a good safety. I but, think no. So d- ditto on the flex. Like a, yeah, he mimic yeah. anybody. Flex. No, that's a great cornerback um, then, because he can just mimic all the movements of the wide receiver. Okay, so we'll get him more into this. Uh, also <laughs> of note, uh, they have to fit into a jersey. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they got to be able to fit into a football jersey. That was a good rule. So like you a, can't, a jersey can't, that's available at like NFL.com. Yes. Yeah. 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 Okay. Um, so here's how we're going to do this. We have a giant coin. That's how we're going to oh, pick who goes it. first. Um, there, I have this coin because of Nick. Uh, tune into the dozen on our YouTube page to find out why. Uh, Nick, you're the guest. You're going to pick heads or tails in the air. That's it. Simple as that. Yep. Ready? Give me heads. Tails. All right. Oh, next up. Tails looking, never fails. Come I'm on. Down, I'm so looking, bad at this. Down the row. Gooch. I'll let you go next. Heads or tails? Uh, let's go tails. Now it's going to fail. Tails. See? We'll told you. you it would work. Uh, give me the first overall. Yeah, first overall pick it. goes to Gooch. It'll be a snake draft. There's, there's a real obvious one to take. And if you take him, I'm going to be pissed. Really? <laughs> Ken Jack. Heads or tails? Uh, tails. It's heads. Uh, me heads it's heads i'll go second uh followed by nick we'll give you one more flip of the coin all right heads it's heads do you want third or fourth Damn. I want, uh it's snakes yep no i want third third nick is third pick ken jack last pick let's first do it pick of the second round gooch building a football team two offense two defense one coach no superheroes must fit into a jersey not even no superheroes, like no powers, no special. Like you can take Superman, but he's just a dude. Like he's power, completely powerless. Mm-hmm. Go okay. ahead. I have to fart he's so still bad. a great guy. I mean, I would, I would love to have Clark Kent on my team, but uh, he's not making this roster. Not today. Uh, first one I'm going to go, I'm going to start on offense. No one's as slick as him. No one's as quick as him. Nobody's neck is as thick as him. I'm taking Gaston as my running back. Oh, that's good. That's a that's a franchise building. Yeah, try and that's a good point. try and denote the position that you're using. Yeah, that, yeah. yeah okay. he's a he's a he's a he's a Christian McCaffrey. You know, little stout kind of. Uh, you can give him the ball, pass it to him, put the ball in his hands. Magic will happen. And he's got his own personal cheat. I'm guessing he comes with Lafu. His uh, his gay no. his, his <laughs> no, gay friend. No, no, no he, he, I was going to take Lafu. I was going to fucking take Lafu. <laughs> You don't get Lef- No, what do you mean? He's, he's not going to play. Lef- he's not going to play, but he's, he's part of the posse. <laughs> you know, you don't just get LeFou. He's like his he's- ball boy. Gaston is apparently six feet tall. That's a better. That's he's the Derrick Henry of this league. Manlit. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you don't just get. Do I just get LeFou? No, you <laughs> did. <laughs> Insane assumption. When have you ever seen Gaston without LeFou? Name um, one time. All right, Gaston, for, that's the one. That's the first o- running back, first overall. Ooh. <sighs> Loser. Uh, I'm going wide receiver, number one overall. Marvin Harrison Jr. might be going number one overall next year. Uh, my guy, Look, I'm going to tell you, he, this person fits him in a jersey because the person that plays him used to play basketball at Penn State. I'm thinking Chewbacca, my wide receiver, number one. Wow. Uh, he is slow as shit, though. Every time I, you I, see Chewbacca in action, he's so slow. I'm he's a tall tight, tight end, man. He is so tall, though. He's a tight end. Mm-hmm. Right, fine, tight end. He is. He's. He's my Travis Kelsey. I'm. I'm taking. I'm taking Chewy. Nice. Uh, with my first overall pick, played now played by former Jonas like 
Sabutko or something like that, yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> we move, I mean, Sabuko might be shorting it. Uh, how, yeah. But yeah. How tall is Chewbacca? He's like 10 feet tall, right? He's seven feet tall in the movies, right? Oh, he's, okay. he, you know, he's, yeah, he's six, seven he's something. Blown out first time. He's seven three. Mm-hmm. Well, no, if he was like 10 feet tall, I don't think I would have been able to take him. Like, I think, I don't think that jersey would have. He's, he's like seven f- feet and change, right? Seven foot three. Yeah. Yeah. Seven that sounds about three. right. All right, Chewbacca. My, uh, we're going all offense, Nick. Where the are you going? First furry. All right, first right. furry. Um, I'm going to take a middle linebacker, Jeff, and uh, I'm going to take the guy that throws the net and gladiator. Oh yeah, yeah. Gladiator that throws the net. <laughs> he's like sitting there, and then they they clothesline him, don't they? Yeah, they, they do, do clothesline him, but he he he's a real fucking nuisance. Yeah, <laughs> the net and the spear. What a cheat code. The trident, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So um. Gaston is going to be trying to run up the middle. <laughs> he's going to be separating. He's going to be fucking net. It's got a net. It's got a net and a trident. Yeah. Are, you, are you are you going to start Gaston? This week? I got to bench him. Net. He's, he's playing net thrower. <laughs> got no net shot. throw from Gladiator. <laughs> <laughs> there's remember that guy in that same scene who's just like while they're all waiting to go out. Like there's a dude just like with a big ass mace just going like whoa, whoa. Yeah. And then the second they open the door, he just clobbers him. That that like Gaelic dude right in the face. Oh. Uh, what a fun scene. Uh, Ken Jack, your your first picks. We got Gaston Chewbacca, the net thrower from Gladiator, linebacker, yeah. obviously. Ken Jack. First uh, pick. Okay. I'm going to go with the coach first. Ooh. Um I have a guy who uh, he can make a great plan. He's really good at improvisation. Uh he's a lifelong raider, so he has a long a lot of experience. Um, and there is a little bit of a fear he may go full to Sean because he loves to whip it out with no warning. Indiana Jones will be my Ooh, coach. Good I think he's a fantastic coach. He's from middle America. I mean, that's where all the great coaches are from. So he I is. think it's a great fit for a coach. Yeah. I think there should be a rule. We have to make it a Sean Watson joke. Every single, every, pod. every single draft we have. What's from- <laughs> Indiana Jones? Oh, well, he is from Princeton, New Jersey. That is true. Is he? Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, you just you thought Middle America. His name is literally Indiana. Indiana. Yeah, <laughs> I thought they named the dog after, and that's where he got the name from. The dog. No, New, New Jersey's a from. football hotbed. That's that still. It's works. not bad. It's it could be fine, could be yeah. worse. It could be like fucking Maine or what, something. What, what but. Young, young, but see, young Indy, I feel like would have a spot on the squad. Yeah, but that's why I, that's why Big Indy is coaching. He, he's okay. the master of like making a making. I don't know. Uh, what would you say? Lemonade out of lemons, I guess. Yeah, like he gets put in a shitty situation and he fa- he figures it out. Yeah, sooner or later. Fair. Yeah. All right, would keep the female staff first. away from him. Mm-hmm. One coach yep. for Kendra. Who you going with your second? Your second pick. Uh, I'm going to go with a wide receiver next. Um, this is Ooh. a guy that did one of the most impressive, longest, unbroken carries in cinematic history. Like literally, did not stop once for air. Uh, he's not. WR1 material, but he's WW1 material. Uh, and he may not be in many fantasy drafts, but he's part of a real draft. And that's George Mackay's character in 1917. Uh, mm-hmm. L- Lieutenant Lance Corporal Schofield, who did a, one of the great runs in cinematic history. Not only just the fact that the, that it's all in one shot is not cut once, does not stop once, although not cutting is maybe a detriment if you're a skill position player, but like he, that scene where he runs across the trenches with the thing he needs to carry to the end goal, not stopped once. Knocked down, not, not stopped once, made it all the way all the way there. It's like a Chris Johnson type player. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. He literally ran like well over two thousand yards. CJ two K <laughs> couldn't compete. That's a, that's a pick that Mel Kiper is scoffing at in the draft. He's like, he wasn't even on my board. Like like one of those. Like that's that's surprising. Yeah, good runner. Get out of his cage for the draft. <laughs> He's. He always Mel, Mel Kiper always brags about not peeing during the draft. Like yeah, all right. and eating what pumpkin pie every day or whatever. What a freak. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Lance yeah. Corporal William Schofield, Schofield mm-hmm. from uh, Sam Mendes' 1917. Nick, you got defense. You can still can take another defensive player. Yeah, I could. I could. Um, I have some choices for defense in case anybody gets stolen. I think you've got to go coach here. Coach is important. I'm going to take the hot dad from inside out. Mm-hmm. Uh, he looks like a coach. He looks like a coach. <laughs> Does he have a coach scene in that movie? I feel like. I don't I, think. Because you've said that, I think that now, but I feel like he would. Like she plays yeah, a cross he's a real something. offensive-minded guy, though. Mm-hmm. He would look Did great you, in slacks. My He's God. Great. You see that picture with him on the couch with the bulge? Yes, of course. He's got yeah. a great mustache, too. Yeah, yeah. But wait till you see the bulge, Jeff. The bulge is incredible. <laughs> and that's the I, photo I'd like for the graphic, please. 
Yes. All right. Yes. No, I have all those those rule 34 pictures of that coach still saved from that episode of the bracket. Yeah, just in case the power is ever out or the internet goes down. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that, that, that's not a real picture. That's not real. That's not in the movie. Jeff, what'd you search to get that? <laughs> Inside out dad autofills to bulge, like third thing for me. <laughs> Why'd you <laughs> I thought it was like a real um, like a like a what do you call it? Like a screenshot from the movie? <laughs> just a screen cap. <laughs> Disney's always sneaking these things in. <laughs> That's uh, like the uh, the the ant from Big Hero Six has been like incepted into people's brains. Everybody just thinks yeah. she has huge knockers now because that one people, picture just goes around. People always ask us what our our good friend and old co-host's podcast, Troll Bollins, looked like. He doesn't look like the dad for Inside Out, but he gives off that like same energy. Like, yeah. there's a picture of him with like a, what looks like an Indiana crew neck on with a button down underneath. Like, it is that similar energy. Yeah. Um. All right, hot dad from Inside Out, uh, going. Uh, number uh, is that our first animated? It's our uh, second, no, second. Our first like computer animated character. Gaston yeah. being two D. Uh, yeah, I, I'm gonna I do go... not want Luke Evans. I want I want the uh, the animated. That is, that is a big note. That is very important. Yeah, you want the the animated one's way beefier anyway. So oh yeah, uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go quarterback. Um, need a QB. Need someone who can really toss it. Re- toss it well. Uh, so if someone who's, who is accurate throwing, um, odd job from James Bond. Wow, great mm-hmm. pick! You great can pick. see if he can spin a hat, he can probably spin the ball. He can he yeah. can spin a tight spiral. <laughs> so, uh, such a dodgeball thing of you to say. I know. Oh man, Kendrick did send really <laughs> yeah, <he's laughs> heinous heinous photos <laughs> of which we will not be showing on our screen. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go odd job with uh. From from James Bond, uh, with with my pick, I could have gone uh, the character, the spoof character from Austin Powers that throws a shoe too. Yes, uh, shoe. he throws a shoe. Who Not quite as accurate though, or lethal. Uh, so odd job, Gooch. You have back to back picks. You already have Gaston. So you have one yeah. more spot for offense. I'm pretty much set. Um, defense. I want some. I want some absolute beast on defense. I want some killers. And then, uh, to get a killer D, I'm going Bo from Bo is Afraid. A uh, literal dude, killer D. Yeah, that's true. That's a great point. <laughs> dude, that, that was a massive dick, too. <laughs> what's, his his position, stretch. what's his position he playing? He's playing defense. He's he's gonna be he'll be playing, uh he's playing D guy who's never watched football. He's playing defense. <laughs> <laughs> what position is he playing? <laughs> Troy Palomalo. Um he's, he's, that's, uh, that's, yeah. he's uh let's put him as a linebacker. Yeah, okay. I think that a works. linebacker. Gosh, Gosh, he's he's his, his head his head will his head will be on a swivel the whole time. That's that was true. great. Really like, great great movie made like nine dollars. Some of the yeah. people watch this like who the fuck is he talking? Yeah. <laughs> Just skip to the part where uh Parker Posey shows up. Um, uh, and then, uh, yeah. you understand. Yeah. Great movie, but yeah, I, I just not a, a mainstream movie. Uh all right. Bo from Bo's Afraid is Dick is killer. <laughs> and um, then and, uh, and then my wide receiver. Uh, is going to be, I don't even know his character's name, but Joel David Moore in Avatar. Uh, he's well, just lanky. sounds like Andrew Luck. Yeah, yes. Andrew Luck guy. He just got a wide receiver build to him. Those are lanky, lanky arms, long fingers. That guy's built to be a wide receiver. I'll put him Wasn't in a he in the new program. Avatar for like 19 seconds? Like, yeah. <laughs> yes. in the beginning, they never Very showed briefly. him again. What's his name from Grandma's Boy? Look at Joel David Moore and tell me that man isn't just Norm built. Norm Spellman was his character name. <laughs> no way, really? Oh, Spellman? That's Dr. Great. Norm Spellman. And I want the doctor on his jersey. Like that one guy from Kansas City who used to do it. Yeah. I, I miss JP. Or is it JT or JP from Grandma's Boy? Uh J- JP. Yeah, right. you should have taken the ro yeah, his oh, robot from oh. Grandma's Boy. <laughs> Too robotic. Too rigid. <laughs> Joel, <laughs> Joel David Moore. So, I mean, sounds like the Hawaii Leonard of football. Exactly like Andrew oh, Luck. Like this ball. Same voice. Uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go defense. I mean, this feels like. Nah, I'm, I'm gonna go. I don't know how he'd be. He's kind of a he's kind of a douchey character, kind of annoying, but he has. The most football name so far, I think, and that's uh, from Dune, Duncan Idaho, my oh linebacker, my Jason Moore's character. That is Duncan Idaho is a guy who plays at Iowa for four years, drafted in the third round, 
occasionally leads the league in tackles but never makes a Pro Bowl. Like that is the yeah. Duncan Idaho name. It's like a Leighton Vander Esch type ass. He has he it's has like one yeah. one four hundred yard game, and because of his name, yeah. ESPN will not stop showing highlights of him for like yeah. the he, rest of the season. <laughs> he also like like fucking Sean Lee. Yeah. Like like that that type of player, yeah, right, gets injured like Sean Lee yeah. every other year. Like he only yeah. plays really ten games. Yeah. Um yeah, Duncan Idaho, line Yeah, he'd wear like the neck roll for sure. The yeah, neck roll, oh, absolutely. Yeah. Jason Momoa Flat started jacket. yelling for Aquaman, and that's just all he does in rolls rolls and they're just Yeah. Come on. Hurry. Oh yeah. No, literally, that's <laughs> all he has now. <laughs> my Nick, man. <laughs> Nick, you have no offense yet. No, I don't. And I'm looking through my list here. I've had a lot of guys taken by you guys. You know, um, it's been pretty chalk so far. <laughs> I know. You, you were texting me before and you're like, I hope no one takes Norm Spellman before me. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Um, I'm going to go with, uh, oh boy. You know what? At, at running back, I'm going to take the little girl dying of leukemia in my sister's keeper. Ooh, strong team. pick. Yeah, they're going to let her score. Yeah, fucking post it <laughs> right off my list. We'll pull up any video of a sick kid on the field. They score. They score a touchdown. I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm telling you right now. Bo is not going to let that happen. <laughs> <laughs> no mercy. Like, wait, wait, wait. Didn't the team last week let her score because she's dying too? Yeah, we got to yeah, do it. She's holding on. <laughs> Dude, every, like if you had her in fantasy, she'd be questionable every week. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like yeah, ESPN's telling you like you should make this lineup change. She's on the end. Like no, I know yeah. someone's projected to outscore leukemia girl. <laughs> <laughs> twenty. You know how it shows you like the boomer bust potential yeah. now. Like twenty five percent to boom, twenty five percent to bust, ten percent to die on the Fucking field. Matt Barry is <laughs> cancer girl today. I don't know, man. It's not looking good. Uh, Kozos, I gotta tell you, I'm not very high on uh, <laughs> Cancer Girl. <laughs> I love her spirit, but uh, can't be on my program. <laughs> uh, um, Ken Jack. All right, I'm gonna go with a running back. Um, here's the thing about running backs: they're kind of known nowadays for getting injured all the time. And I know a guy that won't listen to a doctor's no. Uh, and with 23 movies, I don't know if anyone's more skilled at running it back. So James Bond is gonna be my running back. I think that's a guy you want in your locker room. Again, yeah. no, who there is no other character in franchise history of all movie franchises that is more skilled at running it back. That is, yeah, a great point. Runs it back. Which bomb, though? I get all. I'm pretty sure I get all of them. Yeah, but what, about, what, there's got to be there's got to be a face to the bond. If I wanted a running back, it'd be Daniel Craig because he's short and he's so stout. He is. What, he's who is beefy. Who would be the worst football player? Roger Moore. Bond actor. You think Roger Moore? Roger Moore would fold. Pier- Pierce Brosnan would be would flail around. No, though, I feel the, like uh, the Irish one. Too many British players. Like there's <laughs> that is true. Be good that at is, yeah, I, I do have two right now, which isn't great for me. <laughs> I have a Frenchman. I think. <laughs> yeah, vaguely French. Yeah, Gaston. I think he's French. Yeah. Um, Joel David Moore could be a plethora of different nationalities. Hmm. He's so middle America, Joel David. Where's he? Where was he born? Peter born Dish. in Portland. Oh, he's, he's very <laughs> northwest. That makes sense. Um, Go Seahawks. He's the twelfth man. I like how his thing says he reprised the role for Avatar: The Way of Water. He was he was in it for half a scene. They're like he's back in it for Avatar three. How much though? Mm-hmm. It's possible uh, to be in the movie that little. All right, Ken Jack, you have all your D offense gone, so it's time for defense. Yeah, uh, for my first defensive player, I wanted defensive tackle uh, because I think. It, being a Chargers fan, well, I think our biggest thing is we want to defend against the rush, and we've been really bad at that. So in my team, I want to make sure I'm defending against the rush. Uh, Philly, a place known for their strong defense, and I want someone who knows how to stop a rushing attack. So that's got to be Rocky. Give me Rocky from Rocky Four specifically. And I think he's going to be right, – yeah. <laughs> who's better at being victorious versus the rush for Russian than him? <laughs> It's got to be Rocky. There. We got there. We got there. It's a, it's a rocky there. road. <laughs> it, it's, it's a like, stretch, but I mean, yeah. we're getting there. Playing in the snow. You can play in the snow. Playing in the snow. Yeah, he's excellent in the snow. That that absolutely <laughs> that absolutely landed. The old Russian attack. <laughs> <laughs> I considered a Red Dawn character, but like this felt more. Yeah, no, on the is, nose. Yeah. Uh, all right. So your def. Uh, so your defense, you have your first player, Rocky Balboa, Rocky Four specifically. Nick, your next player, you have something from each, so you can go offense or defense. Yeah, I need somebody to clog up the middle. 
Um, I'm going to take a nose tackle. Uh, give me Boss Nass from, <laughs> from Star yeah. Wars. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder how tall Bo- Boss Nass was not very tall for no, being stout, not a human. <laughs> he was stout. He'll be good. He, he's oh, he's 6'8". Be- Never mind. What? He's huge. Massive. He's covering up the A and B. That's fucking yeah. crazy. How, yeah. how fucking small are his legs that when he sits down, he looks that like is the biggest torso of all time? I might have to get a custom Boss Nass jersey. Just <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Steelers, Steelers jersey that just has Boss Nass on it. <laughs> I mean, he is also like from the Caribbean, presumably. Yeah, good export of like those, that, those, those type of players. Yeah, Boss Nass. Gungan, uh, that might be bad. For the league, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, boss, I also so I'm going nose tackle as well to round out my defense. Mm-hmm. Uh, he has a brother, but the brother is dead, so I'm going with the alive one, and that is Landfill Two from the movie mm-hmm. Beer Fest. Yes, um, <laughs> great pick. Second, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the second landfill. <laughs> landfill Two. Yeah, Landfill Two. Which you like, could take you Landfill One. He was alive in the movie at some point. I don't want anyone getting the Duncan Idaho. Like they're not getting past landfill two. That was one of my favorite cuts, and I think in a movie where the scene where it's like the uh, landfill one drinking the beer and like the funnel appearing, like oh wow, he's gonna make it, and then just cut to him just floating dead in the <laughs> tank. It's so, it's so good. And then the landfill just being like, I feel like I know everything about you guys. Can you just treat me like exactly like you treated landfill, <laughs> <laughs> and just call me landfill also. It's perfect. Landfill two. Um. Ken Jack, you have the last two picks oh, wait, here. No. Uh, Gooch. Gooch uh, excuse me. Gooch has last two picks here. Gooch, you have one defense left, one coach. All right. Uh defense. I'm gonna pull in a veteran. Uh somebody who can lock down the outside. Won't be able to throw on this guy. And he's not gonna have his powers, but I don't care. I want Gandalf. Mm. Give that it to me. Powers. What is, what's his position? Corner. Oh. You shall not pass, baby. Come on. I mean, oh, yeah, no, that no, is no, that is no. good. With no yeah. powers. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't with, care. Without powers, that's a little rougher. He's ganned off the black and orange now, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to get a Bengals custom jersey with Gandalf, Gandalf. on it. <laughs> Gandalf oh, the gray. Is so funny. That is, <laughs> that that is after I get wow. my Joel David Moore jersey. My Joel David Moore. Do, Nick, go to a Steelers game with a Gandalf jersey and say you're Gandalf the black and gold. That is <laughs> that's the lamest super fan of all time. Oh, my God. <laughs> Have you seen – actually, I, he follows me on Twitter now, and I, I, I and now unironically love him. This Panther super fan, Panthos, who's just Thanos for the Panthers. Oh, Jesus, dude. Yeah, he has he has an incredible. He just it doesn't even totally make sense. Like Panthos doesn't really doesn't it just really sounds work. Like a Greek guy that fucks no. your girlfriend on vacation. Panthos, yeah, Panthos you, just fucks your girlfriend on a boat. Yeah, you know the uh, the Bengals super fan, the the Star Wars themed Bengals super fan. He follows it's, me on Twitter too, and <laughs> what a guy. <laughs> Look at oh, it. amazing. <laughs> Pan, Pan, I fucking I we made What's I made face? fun of him a little bit. I regret it. Really nice guy. Good Panthers fan. I love Panthos. I love Panthos. It yeah, makes the, the, the Bengal super fan is is a just a stormtrooper, right? Mm. Uh there well, he's the Bangalorean now. Oh, oh that's okay, weird. that works. I like Which, that. Which the commanders have the two. They have the Commandalorian. <laughs> See, that makes sense. The, the commander <laughs> song though is so good. Oh the, my the God. Browns, Left hand up. Yeah. The, the Brown super fan is the is well, they used to have Big Dog, but I he's not really their super fan anymore, but they have the fucking pumpkin head. Oh. You guys all suck in comparison to Boltman. Boltman literally Boltman. going to court. Like for our franchise, has any of your guys done that? I doubt it. Old man is I, I, a lot old. of Steeler fans have gone to court. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of, can we get you fucking child support? <laughs> Boltman is awesome, but the, the Boltman's like basically the mascot though. Like that's he's the all, thing. He's it's like catering on official. Yeah, he's not. Yeah, right? He's not actually official, and they also changed the iteration of Boltman quite frequently to where he's not a bolt that happens to just have a bolt head and a man body. He'll be a full bolt sometimes. He changes a lot. Uh, full, bolt. full bolt would look like a banana. Full bolt doesn't look good at all. Bolt man rocks with didn't his sunglasses like the, too. It, didn't like the Vikings mascot create a big uproar about him yeah. coming out on the field? Like the, he's like their he's super fan about their, his pay. I think wasn't he? Yeah. Is it the guy on the motorcycle? <laughs> yeah, because yeah, like the like, players get paid this much, and I only yeah. get paid this. I think that's what it was. And he like retired or something, and everyone was like, okay. 
<laughs> he like retired in protest. He was only there was a middle paid about three thousand per season during his final nine seasons as the Minnesota. So he was their mascot. Um, he said, "I wouldn't have asked for the money. I didn't. I didn't think he should." He said, "I felt it wasn't right to try and negotiate a big contract. If they wanted to offer me more money, then I took. But otherwise, I thought I'm doing a, a, dis, a service to fans." Most Vikings days. guys holding out in camp reports. Adam Schefter. <laughs> Yeah, imagine being the guy who's like, "You going to the game today?" No, dude. I, the the mascot, they un, unfair, unfair compensation. Yeah, <laughs> everyone's Stop. kneeling and they're like, "Oh, you're kneeling for Kaepernick?" No, nah. yeah. <laughs> I'm kneeling for the for Vikings guy. This fucking Everyone agent knows. is out there putting out propaganda. Yeah, yeah. everyone knows they ride it on choppers. Vikings. Um, yeah. Gooch, coach. Uh, all right, coach. Need someone who watches a lot of film, a lot of film. And that's why I'm going with Don John. <laughs> <laughs> watches a lot of it he does that's Chronically a great point addicted to watching film some would say i like don john i'm just gonna say it no i like that movie the scene where he where scarlett johansson milks a fucking load out of him in the hallway <laughs> yeah is that is that the uh joseph gordon levitt movie yes yes yeah. that shit sucks so bad <laughs> it opens Why? with him just jerking off yeah that dude I, like it. I guess good good tony danza role that is a great Danza role. Fucking Tony Danza. Uh, Brie Larson did it. She doesn't speak to like the last like line of the movie or some shit like that. Oh. She's like just silent. It's like no point of the character. Uh, nice. My coach, if I if we do a draft for this, I pick the same coach every time. The greatest leader in cinematic history, Danny Ocean. Mm. I picked him probably five or six times. Uh, I left a couple. I left, I left one really good. I mean, I would have I would have traded my whole team for Danny Ocean. Oh, it starts at the top. Starts at the coach. Uh, Nick, you need an offensive player. You need someone on offense to round this out. You already got yeah, the, so the little leukemia like girl from my yeah, my sister's keeper. Uh, Gooch, she's, I thought he was she's gonna, gonna take be dead before this. <laughs> I'm taking somebody that likes watching film even more as my quarterback. You know, you know, you had Johnny Manziel didn't watch any. Jamarcus Russell. You want your quarterback to be a student of the game. You want them to be obsessed with the film room. So that's why I'm going with Mike TV as my <laughs> quarterback. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> hell yeah. Small Mike is- TV or big Mike? <laughs> Little Mike TV or big Mike TV? Oh, this child Mike. Mike TV. Okay. Yeah, child. <laughs> That'd child. be a great quarterback name. Uh, which which Wonka, the original Mike movie TV. or the uh, original? Timber? Original. original. Mm-hmm. By the way, if if Gooch gets LeFou, you also get his Mike TV's mom in the pack. If yes. That's how that, that's how that if works. If he gets yeah. LeFou, I get Beauregard. Beauregard, uh, Violet yeah. Beauregard. That's right, a DTHD. Danny Ocean. I, I get the I get the rest of the eleven. If if <laughs> if, if Gooch gets Lafu with Gaston, that's how ridiculous you sounded, Gooch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but Violet Beauregard, good nose tackle, probably. Exactly. Lafu will be in the locker room. He may not be on the field, but he'll be waiting in the locker room. Trust me. <laughs> you know, you know that uh, that old NFL Network clip of John Henderson from the Jaguars getting slapped across the face. Mm-hmm. Where he goes yeah. the field. Come on, one more. That's oh, Violet baby. Bogart. Yeah. That's Violet Bogart eating the gum before every game. Like, come on, one yeah. more piece. <laughs> <laughs> um, Ken Jack, defense to round it out. All right. Uh, I got someone for the run, and now I need someone for the pass. And I personally like my secondary to be very mean. You know what I mean? Real mean guys. Uh, and I don't know anyone that hates wide receivers quite like Sadie Sink did in The Whale. So <laughs> that's what I'm going to have to go with. Uh I heavily considered <laughs> the meanest character of all time. And she, she hate, again, hates wide receivers. Uh, I really considered for safety, Alec Baldwin, but he kind of ruined that. If it was just like a year ago, <laughs> oh, I thought about it, but I was like, ah, never mind. Yeah, he's a little rusty. Yeah, that's true. I thought, <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> I thought when you were saying, hey, well, I thought you were going to pick Hallow Shell for us, uh, or Shallow Hell for a second. Yeah, hates wide receivers. He, he um, just hates wide. The receiver <laughs> part is him getting fucked in the ass, Jeff. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Does uh, um, Jason Alexander have a tail in that he movie? Does he have a mini okay. tail <laughs> in Shadow yeah. Hell? Doesn't Joel? Is it? No, it's not Joel Osteen. It's Tony Robbins show up? Yes, he's Tony the one who ties <laughs> Osteen. Dude, he yeah. that would be bizarre. Joel, o- Joel Osteen, the Lord commands you, you will know. You will fuck fat chicks, show how. The <laughs> Lord saith. <laughs> You're gonna fuck them big ladies. I don't know how Joel Osteen <laughs> sounds like. That's definitely not that. <laughs> big ass white teeth. <laughs> yeah, why did Tony Robbins? Yeah, uh, Molly uh, said, Oh, it's bigger cast than I remember. <sighs> Gwyneth Paltrow doesn't remember that one either. Uh, no, she doesn't uh, remember any movie she did, dude. Um, final teams here. Ken Jack. Head coach Indiana Jones on offense, uh, 
Lance Corporal William Schofield from 1917. James Bond, running back, defensive tackle, Rocky Balboa. Good at um, stopping the rush. <laughs> uh, no way. What stopping did you the say? Russian. It was the Russian attack. Stop <laughs> um, Russian attack. Yeah. Yeah. And then Sadie Sink from The Whale hates wide receivers. Nick, uh, the on D, on, uh, your head coach, the hot dad from Inside Out mm-hmm. on offense, uh, the little girl with leukemia from My Sister's Keeper, and your quarterback is Mike TV. Yeah. Uh, defense and the net thrower from Gladiator. Uh, <laughs> uh, and then Boss Nass from Phantom Menace. No, you yeah. still got no game. <laughs> <laughs> A Boss Nass press conference would be so. Yeah. Fun. <laughs> we start talking about practice. <laughs> we start on to Cincinnati. <laughs> He does that like really high pitch, like we see. Like, he does. Yeah. <laughs> we saw. Yeah, we saw. We the saw see about that. <laughs> what a fucking stupid character! <laughs> characters. <laughs> Going into the dumbest. It's just. It's Bad so. <laughs> the, the the most blatantly obnoxious thing is still the uh, is Newt Gunray's species, though. Just fucking yes, absolutely. That one we can't do an impression of. No, absolutely <laughs> insane. It's oh, fucking crazy. Nemodians. Um, I have Danny Ocean and coach, offense, Chewbacca, tight end, odd job, my quarterback, Duncan Idaho linebacker, and landfill two, my nose tackle from Beer Fest. <laughs> yeah, Jack, you, yeah, yeah, you have Gaston, the running back, uh, Gooch, Gaston, uh, Dr. Nor- Dr. Norm <laughs> Spellman. <laughs> you could ask a hundred people to guess who Norm Dr. Spellman. Norm Spellman is. Nobody. Spellman. And we like Avatar. We're a pro Avatar pod. Uh, wide receiver. Throw it up Gandalf. The spell. <laughs> Gandalf, your cornerback. Reminder, no powers. Bo from Bo is Afraid for defense, for linebacker. Your head coach is Don John. I, I nobody, love- took, nobody took off actual football player Lou Cobbs, though. Yeah, that's true. Dwayne Johnson. I love the I idea of about James Cameron uh, sitting there, like trying to name the characters. Like, hmm, what name would a doctor have? <laughs> what type of name? What ethnicity of a name would a doctor Dr. have? Norm oh, yeah, the J.K. Howling oh, School of Naming. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he is six two. He's a big guy. Taller what guy. Was Jew- what was the Jewish character in Harry Potter name? Oh, just the goblin, like Brian Greenblatt, or something. I it was like it's, 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 um, Anthony yeah, Anthony yeah. Goldstein. <laughs> Anthony yeah. Tony Goldstein. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Uh, uh, J.K. Is there any Jewish? There's no Jewish characters. Uh, actually, yes, there is. Uh, uh, correct. Goldstein Ravenclaw. Uh, <laughs> what are you going to name the Irish guy? Let's name him Seamus. Seamus o- <laughs> O'Malley or some shit. You have an Asian character here. What Cho were you Chang. Cho Chang. <laughs> That's fucking crazy. That's. It's uh, what's what his face? Uh, character's name too. It was uh, Kingsley Shacklebolt. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that. He has, so- like, and he has like the uh, this, this Cosmonaut picture show. Marcus Marcus from uh, Cosmonaut Picture Show on YouTube. He he makes a joke. He's like he has like one token line, and then he just goes Dumbledore's got style. I think yeah, all yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> The no uh, Italian wizards, which I do appreciate from J.K. <laughs> yeah. But if they had a name, it would be so fucking funny. You know how It'd hard like, it was for J.K. Rowling to like picture him holding his wand sideways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's, 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 his robes are sagging somehow. <laughs> it's like how is it even possible? Saggy robes. Yeah, you can still see his ass cracks. So <laughs> 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 makes no sense, but he found. She found a way. <laughs> oh man, it's called um, a right, Nick, Kingsley, not a switch. <laughs> on Nick, uh, make sure if you're watching on YouTube, like and subscribe. Subscribe to the channel. <laughs> Uh, like the video helps us out a lot. Uh, we'll see on our socials at Lights Camera Pod on Twitter, at Lights Camera Barcelona on Instagram. Who uh, was the best team? Mm-hmm. Let's go. Got to go. Got to be Boss Nass. <laughs> Bo- Boss Nass gonna be really tough to be. Boss Nass is he's a legend. <laughs> legend of the game. Um, all right, that's it for Ken, so Jack, Gooch, our guest Nick. I'm Jeffy Lowe. We'll talk to you next time. <laughs>